This guy needs no introduction, it's the Buller Gumboot. Perfect for bush hunting in New Zealand. Why? It's waterproof, no maintenance needed, um, good tread, it's a wide tread so it doesn't clog up easy. A couple of things you have to do with a, with a Buller though, when you buy it, in my opinion, is to put some decent laces in. Um, two holes just above the rand. You can do this with a the hot number eight wire or something similar, screwdriver, whatever. Get the holes in there for when you when you're in with, with a river travel, um, the water will come out easier. Um, but the other thing I recommend is a is an insole for comfort. And I wear two pairs of socks, a thinner thinner pair next to the foot and the old greasy wool style. This pads out the boot. Um, it also negates jarring, which, which, which can be a problem with these light, light boots. Um, also holds sweat. Um, yeah, it's just a good idea to have two pairs of socks. The other, in, the other important item is a, is a pair of putties. These are horse bandages. They're pretty long. But um, I'll show you in a minute how they go on and, and their benefits. Okay. Another type of boot I've tried is a Zapata, which is a Zapata, I think. It, it's an Italian made boot. And I'll show you why it's not quite as good as, as the Buller. Look at the width for stats. Look at the width on those two, the two feet there. You need a narrow boot. A boot that's hugging your foot in the bush so you can feel your footfalls and have control on your feet these guys are too wide and there's a lot of too much room in my opinion and uh, you can be pretty clumsy with these buggers okay guys here's the boots on two pairs of socks there's a thinner pair rolled over on my on my greasies. Fills the boots out. No extra room here at all. Well fitted boot. So you can put your foot down with confidence and really pussyfoot in the most of conflicts of conditions. Okay, here's your putties. Here's your horse bandage wrapped up. And I'll show you. She just goes on. I do four wraps as low down as I can on the boot and as tight as I can. That's two, three, and four. And that really gives you your um, ankle support and fills you with confidence really on, on inclines. Then you just wrap over, half over, each time. Another two on the same. And then try and cover your socks. Get over the top of your socks and then nothing will get into your boot. And it's not properly wrapped here. and tight against your um, the top of your leg here and nothing will get in two ties I think most of the most of the horse bandages these days come with velcro fastening well you can easily take them off and, and get your missus to sew some good quality ties do a double bow try and tie it in the front if it does come undone it can be easy tied up and um, yeah this other pair here I'll show you you start with your ties tuck them in and just roll and so when you unroll them the ties will be last of course you can cut these bandages down they don't have to be as as long as this I quite like them this length. Um, I've tried the neoprene type putty but it just doesn't give you the ankle support. Okay it covers your boot, stops stuff getting in but there's no support there and, and the beauty of these they're elasticized unlike some of the canvas ones we used to use as well and so they provide a lot more tension and a lot more 
I'll give you more security. I mean, I've stuffed this one up. It's rolling off. The thing is, the thing is too, um, if you can get these bandages a bit damp, they, uh, you can see how they, they tend to bed down a lot better when wet. And then left with the two ties again. Wrap them round. Now you're the properly best dressed bush hunter and certainly it feels apart. <laughs>